Hey, what's going on guys? So I just want to take a couple minutes to introduce my latest Udemy course, which is Mern Stack front to back. And I've been talking about this for a while. A lot of you guys are asking for it. I've been waiting for it. And it you can see it's not published yet, but by the time you're watching this video, it will be published and available. All right, so just to give you a, a little information about the course, um, and it says 149 here, but I'm putting a link in the description to get it for just 10 bucks. Uh, Udemy, you know, you, you put crazy prices and then they, they mark it down 85%. So don't worry about that price. No one is paying that price. Um, but basically we have 16 and a half hours of content and we're building one single application. And that's, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I did not want to do like a, a, five, a four or five to do list type projects. I wanted to do something that's actually going to help you in your career and help you understand how to put together something of substance, something that you would really do in the real world. So we're going to build a small social network for developers called dev connector. All right, and obviously we'll use Node and Express on the back end. We'll use React and Redux on the front end and MongoDB for our database. All right, so we're going to start off with the back end, building up all of our API routes and endpoints. We're using JWT, JSON Web Tokens for authentication, along with Passport. We're going to create some in-depth validation, uh, server-side validation. Once that's done, we'll start on React in the front end. Um, we have our authentication, so basically we'll we'll get our token from the back end and then we'll store that so that we can use that to access protected routes from our front end okay uh, then we'll work on the dashboard which you can see is quite a few videos we have two parts to creating our dashboard and I'm going to show you the application in a second. We have our profile display, our post and comments. We'll be, users will be, will be able to create posts. They'll be able to like posts and stuff like that. Um, and then we'll prepare and deploy our app to Heroku. All right, so let's quickly take a look at the application. Uh, this is the landing page. It, it's a custom Bootstrap 4 theme. It's a pretty simple theme. Um, over here, I have the Redux extension open so you can kind of see what, what's going on as we move through the application. Basically, we have a landing page, and if you want to create a profile or an account, of course, you have to log, you have to sign up and log in, but you can view developers. Uh, view their profiles without having to log in and you can see over here in Redux we, we had the profile loading action run get profiles you can see our state down here so basically if we look in our profile state we have these two guys here and all the fields um, and if I click on view profile it'll take us to the single profile we're using Gravatar for the profile image so if you just use an email that's associated with Gravatar then it will use that image as your profile okay as your profile image and you have information like your status your company your location your social network links your bio skill set you can add um, you can add experiences, so you can see the two jobs here. Um, education, so if you add, if you went to a college or a boot camp, you can add that to your profile. If you want to add your GitHub latest five GitHub repositories, you can just simply put in your GitHub username, and it'll reach out to that API and pull those into your profile. So pretty extensive profile for you know for a course um, application. Now, if we go to sign up. And uh, I'm just going to click submit and you can see we have some really good validation here. Everything gets put into the errors state. So if we go to errors, you can see all these errors coming from the server side and then we're going to output them through the bootstrap template. OK, or the bootstrap theme. Uh, if I go to login and I try to log in with an account that doesn't exist. You'll see we get user not found, so it's going to re reach to the back end and then send the errors back through Redux and um, through the reducer. All right, if I put a user that does exist and with the wrong password, of course, we'll get password incorrect. Let's go ahead and actually log in. And then this is the dashboard. All right, so from your dashboard, you can edit your profile. And you can see there's quite a bit of fields here. You have a handle for SEO, so you can go to slash profile slash Brad Traversy or whatever you want for your handle. You can choose your uh, status, junior developer, senior developer, and so on. Um, your company, website, all this stuff. Your skills, which will get turned into an array. If we look at our profile, Right here, we look at skills. You can see that that's actually an array. 
um, down here if you want to add social media links you can click that and toggle these feet these input fields here so there's a lot that goes into this okay there's a lot of different fields a lot of data um, if you want to add an experience or a, a piece of education uh, a college or a boot camp or something you can do that very easily I'll just give you a quick example here so you can choose a date you can also make it current and then it will gray gray the two date out but I'm going to just choose a date here and submit and you can see that that gets added to the experience if I go to my profile and go down to experience you can see that that's been added there as well all right and I can easily go back to my dashboard and delete that experience okay and you can do the same with with education all right now for the posts if I go to post feed it's basically like a very very simplified version of Stack Overflow. We just create a post. Um, people can like that. You like the posts. They can leave comments. Um, you can see if I go ahead and I click light the like the thumb will turn green and I can't like it more than once because what's happening is it's putting my user ID into the likes array and I can actually show you that in Redux right here. So if we look at post and let's go to posts and just choose one of these you'll see it has an array of likes which has the it has an ID of its own and it has the user so it's going to check to see if you already have a like in there and you're not going to be able to do it more than once okay if I unlike then the thumb will go back to gray and if I click on comments it'll take us to the single post I can say this is a comment and submit and there we go and of course since it's my comment I can delete it same thing with the post notice that any post that is mine has a delete next to it so I can easily delete my own posts and that's pretty much it okay up here we can see we have the little gravatar and we can log out and we can't access any protected pages if I try to go to dashboard without being logged in it just kicks me back to the login page all right, so in a nutshell, that's what we'll be building. It may seem simple, but it's going to take us 16 and a half hours to, to build it because we're building everything, everything from scratch, the entire back end, all the endpoints, all the testing through Postman, um, all the, the authentication with JSON Web Token and Passport. So there, there's a lot that's, that's going to go into this, okay? Um, on top of that, of course, we have Redux. We have to create our reducers and actions. Um, we're going to create um, a post build script so that when we deploy to Heroku, React actually gets compiled and built on the server instead of us having to do it manually and then deploying it. So a lot of stuff like that. It's, it's going to be, I think you guys will really like it. And like I said, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to help you if you have experience with React and Node, at least the basics. But if you do, if you're really good with JavaScript, then um, you should be all right. Um, you should be able to follow along because, like I said, I try to explain everything the best I can. All right, so check it out if you're interested. There'll be a link in the description for just $9.99. And that's it. Thanks, guys, and hopefully I'll see you in the course.